Hi everyone, this is Ivy Cree Arts and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this crib sheet or bassinet sheet. So the bassinet is smaller than a crib, so the measurement that I have for my mattress is 42 by 26 inches right there and this measurement already includes the seam allowance and as you can see I have four corners with six by six inches which I am going to cut so we can attach the sides to fit in our crib and the elastic is 45 inches so I have now this fabric so the fabric is smooth and soft and it's a little bit stretchy which I like to use and you fold it this way and then we are going to cut the edge so make sure you have four sheets right there when you fold it so we are going to measure six by six inches on that corner and if you are uh, making one for your crib you can do eight by eight and of course just adjust your measurement as for the length and the width so for me, it's just this. Like I said, the bassinet crib is smaller than, I mean the bassinet is smaller than a crib. So we're going to cut it. And I would save the squares later because I might make some quilt. So I'll just save that one for later. And so we open it like this. We are going to have like a rectangle without corners. <laughs> like a plus sign and then we are going to connect the sides like so pin it you can use pin or clips I have clips but for this fabric since it is uh, really soft and stretchy I use pins and like that and last one And it will look like this when you're done so it kind of have like um, what do you call it yeah like that <laughs> and then we're gonna sew it the edges so we have that second one and we have the third one and last one is the fourth so don't forget to have your um, back stitch as well to finish and it looks like this it's pretty easy so you only have like three simple steps um, cut the measurements or the length and the width and then cut the corners so the corners that's three and the fourth step is put the elastic so this is what we're going to do um, fold the sides probably one eighth of an inch twice so that means you are going to use like uh, one fourth of an inch for that well you can also do it really depends on how thick your elastic is so do one fourth of an inch and then for the first fold and then another fourth of an inch for the second fold so you have one half inch total for the folding and as you can see here we are going to leave a gap here so we don't stitch that for now or so it that don't sew that side yet because we are going to use that to insert our elastic and so I want to start sewing from where my gap would start and end so we're just going to do it real quick um, here I'm just using a straight stitch single stitch and now I'm done so there is our gap and we're going to get our elastic and pin safety pin so we can insert it inside like so so you're gonna do that and then just keep on pushing the pin the safety pin until you reach the other side of the gap so just um, just to make sure that we won't lose our elastic when we reach the end I'm going to pin it like so so it will stay in place and then we're just going to finish the process until we do finish the whole thing and here you go so we're going to remove the pin that we placed there 
and we are going to attach the ends of the elastic like that um, here I use I think one inch overlapping and we are going to use zigzag stitch just to make it really secure after that we're gonna clean it and just stretch it to make it even or balanced and then we are going to close the gap and we are going to stitch it or sew it like that so don't forget your front um forward and back stitch too when you start and finish all right so we're just going to clean it up and we are ready to balance the the sides of our sheets like that and we are done so it's so easy to make right so this is my mattress and there you have it there you go it's fitted sheet there like that so i like this fabric because it's stretchy and it's easy to insert it to the mattress uh, like i said you have to measure the thickness of the mattress first the length of the width before you do your final measurements and cut your fabric so this is the look on the side it's pretty clean like that and i actually made two more which i'm going to show you later so this is my bassinet it's a rocking bassinet which is really cool because it's two in one and and like i said it's smaller than a crib but it's already like rocking so you can put the baby to sleep um at night and i made another two like i mentioned the this one is white with it this has a design square design like a yellow green squares it looks like straight lines but those are like really really tiny squares and it's thick and soft and then it's uh, it's also stretchy and this one is dark gray kind of like the first fabric but this one is dark gray and it's a little bit thicker actually and it's also stretchy so there you have it we have two it's two and three so i'm just going to wash all of these and keep it for now until the baby comes there you have it guys thank you so much i hope you enjoyed it and make one for yourself thanks for watching